Hey, what's up, viewers? This is Winch here, bringing you a blast from the past. My old favorite loadout uh, from back in the first few days of Battlefield uh, 3. Figured I'd go back to the beginning here and uh, kind of revisit this class. Uh, the M60, or Deep Throat as I've coined her, if you've known her as long as I have. The uh, four grip attachment, and again, the infrared sight. Uh, this was pretty much my standard loadout. I put out a video, I think I had like, I don't know how, how many views are on it now, but I still get lots of comments about it. When I coined this gun, the best gun in the game, when I got this beast old 23 kill streak on Metro, you know, like I thought that was all great. Now, you know, that's pretty average for about any uh, decent player out there, I guess. But uh, still uh, like to throw out this class and run with the M60 a lot. I mean, I got thousands of kills with this gun. There's something about it. Look at that guy go head over heels. Um, there's just something about this gun that is just particularly uh, enjoyable for me. And in the military, it's coined the pig. It's been around since the NOM days, and uh, it's still in service today. And now, it's not really a weapon review of this, but I want to kind of remind you of this gun, and I'm going to show you a range of clips with with this weapon uh, from close quarters. And yes, I said close quarters, guys. Uh, to uh, a, a clip at the very end of the footage, I'll throw in where uh, I get kicked by the admin, and uh, and so do my uh, fellow teammates as well. But um, I'll show you a broad range of situation with this with this gun, and, and show you that it's still a good loadout. Uh, a lot of people kind of turn their nose up at support class I, of course we all know that but they all think now the golden child of support class is the m240 bravo everybody's like oh yeah run that gun run that gun well yeah that's a great gun i've got a review of that gun as well uh i've coined that weapon the black widow check out my review of it it's a great gun don't get me wrong but for some reason it's again it's not about stats uh, you can talk about fire rate and damage and uh, loadouts, this and that, but what really matters about a weapon is whether or not it works for you. And this is just one of those guns that works for me pretty good. Um, and look at these three guys over here. Again, throwing that grenade, throw them off guard. Um, kind of a double kill there is kind of neat. But uh, this is, again, the grip versus a bipod debate, there's no question that a bipod really increases your effectiveness on support class guns. But having a grip too, for something about this gun, it just works good as a run and gun type of gun. And I'm going to show you numerous situations, even at point blank ranges, where the M60 with its meager, was it 580 rounds per minute, something like that. Oh, check this out too. I'm going to play this again in slow motion, but look how I just chew through this team. You notice how I prioritize closer to further as guys peeked around there? I always prioritize and go after the shorter range guy. That's something I harp on. Particularly when you already got a bullet out of a guy down range. That's the suppression. Check this out. I'll shut up here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rambo mode on. I got a piece of that guy, and I, I thought he was going to go this way. 50-50 chance, he went the other way, and I get the knife. That's what good players do, I tell you what. But, I mean, is there not something just so wholly satisfying about the sound of this gun? Uh, when, you, when I played that pack in slow motion, it just that's what I love about this gun. It, it's, it's just a big old beastie pig, and it just gobbles up. It just chews up enemies, and here's a little trollage moment here as I heard somebody behind me, and these guys realize real quick that there's a unique dog tag in the lobby. Let's go after him, man. Yeah, bring it on. Um, but check out the range of this weapon still. Again, this is still with a grip uh, equipped, and uh, I come up here and kind of sniping at, away at a sniper, and a range of thing just doesn't do much damage, but if you're persistent, you can still get bullets on target. And here you can see the limitation of that infrared side. I'm going to move on from this side. I'm not going to have this whole video be in it, because I know it's not very uh, pretty to see this nice looking game all in this kind of green funnel vision scope, which which is good, because uh, in the beginning of this, everybody talked about how, how overpowered the scope was, but everybody was using it, and so we're all looking through this lens all the time. It got kind of tired tiresome looking at it but here at this range still I get a couple hit markers on this guy 
And if I'm persistent enough, I figure like, golly, he's just got to be right there. And sure enough, there it is, at range. I mean, that's a long range shot for this gun to be able to, to, to get those hits. And a lot of times, I just go full auto with this gun a lot of times. Uh, but a long range, probably want to burst fire a little bit more. But point blank range, let her rip. And uh, for the most part, the recoil is much more manageable compared to like the M240B. Uh, as a support gun, there really isn't much recoil at all in this gun. Uh, some people would probably argue with that, but from my experience, it could just be a lot worse. But chewing up three guys here at point blank range, lots going on. Uh, close quarters, probably not the most uh, well suited weapon for this kind of engagement. I don't know where that guy went. I just lost him in the in the trees, so to say. I realized he's there behind my teammates, uh, knifing him. But I finished him up, uh, paid him a little respect there. But I'll just show you again numerous examples here of close range engagements with this gun. Um, it can still holds its own. I mean, doing 34 damage at that kind of range, pretty much one shot in the chest to the head. It's pretty much could put him down with this gun. And I don't ask me how I knew that guy spawned on that, but I was just kind of getting lucky there and it worked out in my favor. So here I am, I mean, just going right up into, uh, was this Operation 925? Um, you can see quite a few uh, situations where I'm just at point blank range with guys that are running assault class weapons. But the damage capability of this gun is very impressive. And obviously it's the pressure fire of it too. There he had a P90 right there, I noticed. Throw out some C4 here. You, you know how it is. I mean, C4, it's a great tool. I, I use it all the time, as you've seen throughout all these clips. Uh, knowing that this weapon is not the best at, at close range, I know C4 ain't could ask no questions about it. But uh, throw it out there and use it. I mean, that's why you have it in, in, in my disposal. I don't use it just, just uh, for an anti vehicle role. It's great against infantry as well. And this guy I know on the minimap is coming for me. Throw it out there, bait him in. Make him chase you. Obviously, some of these are kind of trolly moments here where these guys are really coming after me aggressively. But here at the end, just chewing through three more guys, point blank range. All day long, this gun can drop you. This is Donia Fortress. I forgot the name of this, but again, multiple guys at a point blank range. Here, I just kind of close my eyes and uh, start spraying around and, and hoping that I'm taking these guys out, which I am. Um, I'm just like, wow. I mean, how'd I do that? Uh, suppressive fire is always a. A difficult thing for me in this game in terms of aiming and, and uh, but for the most part support weapons can get those kills at those kind of ranges uh, because he just has so many bullets I mean 200 bullets doing that kind of damage dishing it out uh, just a lethal combination and it's, it's pretty satisfying too when you're just ro rolling through those guys as I said with assault class really you're only gonna get one or two guys with your 30 magazine uh, 30 bullet magazine here again on the flank <laughs> And forgive the sloppy aiming there, but I mean, at some point in time, you're just spraying around hoping for the best, and uh, you look out on occasionally uh, in those situations. Uh, this is a nice wrap up here to a rush match. Uh, I haven't seen this is a final uh, bombing sites now that they added here since the most recent uh, uh, in game DLC, I believe. They decided to expand it to a fourth bomb position here. So this, uh, this is the first time I've been playing on it here, but I run around here and I um, arm the, the objective. And uh, I'll, I'll show this little part here. I, st I still have just a grip equipped. I don't have a bipod. Um, but I'm arm it here, I'm thinking, okay, where are these guys spawning from? Uh, obviously, they're spawning on this side of the wall. So I'm like, well, let me hop up here and see if I can get in position here and kill a few of these guys as they're spawning. So keep this in mind, too. It's a great head glitch spot on this map is, is this little uh, container up here. And you got great cover. You can just see the team just rolling up in here. Even with a grip, just quickly assessing the last few guys there. I mean, they were just keep, I mean, if I had some more time, I would have probably dropped two or three more guys right there. Uh, so this is the final clip I'll show you. This is a rush on Operation Metro, which I typically don't play too much. But a great match nonetheless. Uh, this is a match we ended up getting uh, kicked out of uh, for, I guess, doing too good. You guys know what the uh, server admin even happens to me. Uh, some people just don't care to see guys playing good. I don't know what that is about Battlefield 3. Uh, the only, the only situations I kick or ban people on my server is depending, dependent on their, their play style. If they're really camping or they're not playing objectives or they're just turning in complete knife trolls and not, not giving any regard to the game itself. Um, that's really the only criteria I, I use on my server to uh, kick or ban. Uh, of course, other than trying to get into the server ourselves, sometimes we have to kick uh, some people. But 
I know I, everybody complains about how annoying that is a lot of times with uh, you know, server admin abuse. Again, all of us have experienced it. Unfortunately, it's just the name of the game now. But um, Battlefield 4, I know there's some rumors spread around about it right now. Uh, looks like it's going to be set um, in the not too distant future, but it will be future. But not quite the level I wanted it to be, unfortunately. Not like super futuristic like Battlefield 21. Uh, 43 unfortunately it looks like it's gonna be like around 2020 is what the rumors are saying I'm sure all you guys are aware of this It's gonna be kind of a China uh, China Russia type of uh, engagements three factions I think is kind of what we're going USA China Russia something like that So a lot of the, I'm hearing a lot of the weapons we already have right now are going to be in there So again, I'm not complaining at all no, I'm looking forward to playing. I'm looking forward to playing on the PlayStation 4. There's no question about that and the reason I shot my teammates behind me is because he's saying there's somebody behind you, so... Uh, anyway, that's why I was spraying behind me. I'm always looking, checking my six because of the uh, knife trolling going on. But, you know, it sounds interesting. Uh, we'll have to see what the uh, trailer says on the 27th, is, I think it is, that they're going to come out and uh, show some footage of it. But obviously in console, we're going to have basically just better graphics, uh, like I was saying before. Hopefully it's not like Battlefield 3.5, but... For the most part, I think all of us are going to be happy. I mean, I'm still playing this game today, uh, like many of you are. We're still having a lot of fun with this gun, or excuse me, with this game. Um, here we are, what, two years later, still playing this game? So, lots of fun still. Uh, I'll take good graphics and frame rates, higher player counts, and uh, we'll call it good. So, Metro, as you can see on these first two bomb sites, really difficult to determine where the enemy's coming from. Um, we're really struggling in this position to determine where they're coming from. I was like, I think they're on the flank and you just really couldn't get any spotting and you, you saw the enemy team had a Mav up. That's probably more so to find me than anything, but uh, having a Mav up on this map particular on this open area really helps out uh, with your situational awareness, which is real important. Uh, and the M62, not the best gun shooting from the hip, but uh, it can still hold its own. Just pull the trigger, hope for the best. That's kind of my strategy on it. Uh, lots of people critical of my accuracy a lot of times. Hey, I don't admit to have good accuracy at all, guys. I'm not like some accuracy uh, uh, god by any means. But these last couple clips here are pretty entertaining as, as a uh, match kind of heats up. Um, I don't know who the admin was on the server, but you'll see he gets a little frustrated, I guess, at the end when he kicks us. Here these, again... This is a troll wind shear moment right here. You see these guys, I mean, just jumping up. And, and these, a lot of these players too, like that guy, uh, Lu, I forgot his name, Luciano. I mean, golly, he, he will literally just stalk a server, like on that website to find out what, what server I'm on, and then he'll join it. Him and like this other guy, Cool Wave, just really annoying. I mean, they just constantly join servers that try to like knife me. And even though they succeed in knifing me, yet they still keep coming. I don't understand that. Uh, but I got one moment in here. Oh, and I don't know if you notice. Whenever you get revived, just start pulling the trigger. Because a lot of times if you got like a 93R, you're in that suppressive fire mode or you, you can't really see what's in front of you. Just start pulling the trigger. A lot of times you'll get kills. That happened quite a few times on this match uh, where I'm re resurrected. Just start pulling the trigger. I'll instantly get a kill. So that helps out a lot. Don't wait for yourself to kind of phase out of it on the uh, resurrection. Just shoot first, ask questions later. On this bomb site, you know, they're always in these stalls. I'm in there cleaning that out all the time. Again, point blank range, this gun, it, it's not too bad. It does all right. I mean, it, the, the grouping is not the best, but now I got a bipod equipped on this. Uh, but even still, running and gunning with the bipod is certainly a, a possibility with this. So look at all those uh, resupply points. I mean, that's 400 resupply points. And these are one of those situations where you think, all right, here we go. So this is what support's for, right? Go up here. No, sir, I'm pulling the trigger. One shot Sega right to the, my face. I'm like, golly, good night. Just love shotguns, don't we? But this is a kill that really surprised me uh, that this guy got me. I proceed up here to this um, this uh, dumpster. I see a guy way out here in front of me. I think, all right, I'll, I'll pull back here behind cover. Pull out the bipod. He's dead meat, right? Nope. MP7 said otherwise. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. That was probably one of the roughest kills I've ever seen on my side. Uh, I was really taken back by that. Now this guy right here, he's uh, he does what a lot of players do. I just want to take a moment here to explain this. Obviously, he's got a tack light equipped. I can see that is giving away his position. I've got all the, I've got all the time in the world here to wait for this. I'm bipod up, 
what do you think he should do in this situation? He should just quickly run away, get behind that cover, and go away. But most guys do this, and I don't know why. They just think you're just going to go away, and they're like, I'll just pink this corner. Maybe I can get him. No. That's not how you play that. I, I want to leave that in there as an example, because I see that a lot. That's uh, that's uh, an example of what you should not do in those kind of scenarios. Right here, I, I knew it got hit on that guy. Throw out C4 here, because they're always usually aggressive. Another guy spawns on that guy, and I think this is what got me kicked. Uh, was this moment right here because this guy whoever the admin was I think was pretty pissed about that one and uh, There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe Don't forget about old deep throat the m60 the pig. It is a great support class gun and Capable of multiple kills at uh, multiple ranges. Thanks for watching